What if Eurasia won World War III? Three months ago I uploaded a video about a potential World War III and two, and one month ago the consequences. The allies led by the United States would win and Eurasia under Russia and China would lose. But what if that didn't happen? What if Eurasia won World War III? 2022. In this timeline the Russian invasion of Ukraine is a success and by May 1st Kyiv has already fallen. In just a few months the war ends with a total Russian victory. Russia annexes Novo Russia while Hungary is given Carpathia. The rest becomes the Ukrainian Federation under Viktor Yanukovych which is a Russian vassal state. Hungary would be sanctioned by the West for its open support for Russia which could lead to them joining the CISTO. 2023. Unlike the last timeline the assassination attempt on Putin is unsuccessful, but on August 24th on the first birthday of the creation of the Ukrainian Federation Viktor Yanukovych got assassinated and Ukraine is dissolved and absorbed into Russia proper. In this timeline Erdogan wins in 2023, probably without legal messers and thus Sweden and Finland continue to be blocked from joining NATO. Furthermore he continues his economic policies crippling the Turkish lira and the Turkish economy. 2024. Scotland still holds a second independence referendum with a clear majority voting for independence now that the United Kingdom left the European Union and Elizabeth II being dead. Ron DeSantis wins the United States presidential election of 2000. 24. In November Lukashenko dies and Belarus becomes part of Russia. 2025. Keir Starmar still becomes Prime Minister in the United Kingdom and India still surpasses China in terms of population. In this timeline Russia doesn't withdraw from the Lashin Corridor. 2026. South Ossetia, Abkhazia and Transnistria vote to join Russia angering Georgia and Moldova. 2027. Bougainville becomes independent from Papua New Guinea becoming the youngest country as of 2027. However their new independence would be overshadowed by events in East Asia. China still invades Taiwan which would escalate into a war with the United States. In this timeline with Russia controlling Ukraine and Hungary on their side they successfully push into Romania after a surprise invasion of Moldova. As Russia was pushing into Bulgaria Turkey switched sides causing Bulgaria and Georgia to fall as well. Azerbaijan joins Eurasia as well and invades Armenia. When Srpska declared independence Serbians and Russians used to opportunity to attack NATO in a surprise invasion though Bosnia. They pushed into Croatia and Slovenia, but were halted at the Alps. In Visegrad NATO was pushed to the Carpathian Mountains and Vistula River. With the Allies now cut off from the Balkans Greece, Macedonia, Montenegro and Albania collapse. In East Asia China and North Korea are successful in blitzkrieging South Korea and Laos Cambodia and Burma are able to crush Thailand before Vietnam and India join. For Vietnam China is successful in driving the Americans out and Malaysia and Indonesia don't join. In the Middle East Syrian and Turkish forces and Rojava and push into Jordan and Israel. Saudi Arabia falls soon later and the Houthis take over Yemen. Algeria, Western Sahara, Tunisia, and Libya join the war on the side of Eurasia and crush Morocco. Egypt bombed the Nile Dame and Ethiopia declared war on them. Ethiopia joined the Allies and Egypt Eurasia. Egypt invaded Sudan and a combined force of Egypt, Eritrea, Somalia, and Romo rebels crush Ethiopia. In West Africa the West African revolt is successful in driving the French out. When Pakistan joined they and China pushed India out of the northeast, and after a second offensive India is pushed to the south. With Dravidian groups declaring independence India falls. The nuclear war begun when China nuked Japan into the Stone Age. A combined Eurasian offensive pushed the Allies to THR Rhine River, and in the next year a new offensive pushed the Americans out of Europe. At this point only the UK, USA, Canada, Australia and New Zealand were left fighting and peace talks begin on August 2, 2033. In the Treaty of Geneva Russia annexes Georgia, Moldova, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Hungary annexes Transylvania and Slovakia. Serbia annexes Macedonia, Abena, Montenegro, Bosnia, Croatia and Slovenia and forms Yugoslavia. Turkey annexes Bulgaria, Greece and Dibirja. They puppet Wallachia while Russia puppets Moldavia. 
Denmark, Norway, Prussia, Bavaria, Occitania, France, Italy, Naples, Aragon, Castile, and Portugal become Russian puppet states. Azerbaijan and Turkey partition Armenia. In the Treaty of Damascus, Syria annexes Rojava, Iraq annexes Jordan, Palestine annex Israel and the Houthis, and Hezbollah annex Lebanon and Yemen. The Islamist Republic of Nejdi is an Iranian puppet state. In the Treaty of Dakar, the West African Federation is formed, Morocco is puppeted by Algeria and has to withdraw from West Sahara. Sudan becomes an Egyptian vassal state. Darfur, Bajil, and Ramia become independent. Eritrea annexes Tigray and Afar and Somalia the Ogaden. In the Treaty of Calcutta, India is split up in a multitude of Chinese vassal states. China puppets Japan, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Thailand, with Laos annexing ethnic Laotian lands from Thailand and Cambodia annexing Cha Chinchina. Korea reunites under the North. China annexes Taiwan finally bringing an end to the Chinese Civil War. After the war the United States are massively weakened and Russia and China emerge as new great powers and a three-way civil war starts between Oceania, Eurasia and East Asia. In the following years Russia would retake Central Asia to prevent them from falling into the sphere of influence of China and China would surpass the United States as the number one economy and Russia as the number one military. Korea could see a fate like Vietnam in which the South is allowed to be capitalist which leads to the entire nation becoming capitalist. They are however still a totalist and isolationist state and are the equivalent of SS Burgundy in this timeline. Pakistan and Afghanistan would have a military conflict which is a proxy war between China and Russia. Pakistan wins and annexes Afghanistan. Iran and Turkey could end up fighting each other. Turkey would win and Azerbaijan annexes Iranian Azerbaijan while Turkey annexing Kurdistan Lorstan and Chuzistan. In Europe a Hungarian-Yugoslav war breaks out and Hungary annexes Bakka and West Banat. Syria and Iraq would be annexed by Turkey and Nejdi gains independence but loses Hejaz. They however got sole border lands from Iraq and Syria. Bavaria would invade Austria with Hungary annexing Bergenland. Switzerland is perishing between France, Italy and Bavaria now Danubia. Sweden and Finland would also be invaded by Russia with Denmark taking Scania and Norway taking Bohuslan and Jangland. South Africa collapses in this timeline as well. Someone in the late 21st century a fourth world war would break out and it would be most likely won by China with Turkey and Hungary switching sides in favor of China. Russia would fall and she and her vassal states become Chinese vassal states while Turkey and Hungary partition Yugoslavia. An American involvement could lead in disaster and the fall of Australia, New Zealand, and England. After the war China controls Europe, Asia, Africa, and Oceania leaving only the Americas behind for the US. A fifth world war could see them control the entire world. In this timeline China and Russia are great powers and China would unite the world under their banner. Democracy would die out in Afro-Eurasia and later in Oceania and the Americas as well. If you liked the episode, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.